Well, what's up guys welcome back to the channel today's reaction video is america's secret top tier animals um this is a new channel I haven't checked them out but this should be animals which we wouldn't expect i'm guessing yeah it's, yeah i'm guessing ones that yeah secret but we should know them we will probably know them but we'll be like, them. oh well these are top tier yeah kind of like that i'm expecting that reaction that, that's yeah. So if I say that, you'll be like, oh my god, he faked it. That, that, that's just what I'm expecting, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Uh, smash that button if you enjoy, guys. Smash the subscribe button. Shout out to Millie as well, because you are 41 weeks pregnant at the moment. This may be going out in a week's time, but you should have seen the baby by now, because Millie, hopefully, if she's in the hospital, doesn't delay us, should be getting, and I'm not to this, <laughs> um, uh, as long as the hospital doesn't de delay us, should be getting induced tomorrow. Um, which would have been seven, six days ago, whenever, I don't know when you guys have seen this, but you should have had an announcement by now, if not the hospital's delayed us, and delayed us, and delayed us. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where this is going. Yeah, I don't know where this is going, so I, I don't know. Smash that button, guys, smash that subscribe button. Are you ready? Yes. America's secret top tier animals. What have we got? Okay, that's like some Mario Kart thing. Mm -hmm. oh, literally like Mario Kart, well. Wow. Cheetahs are low-tier trash. The fastest oh, wow. lion built in the game has a ton of flaws in its game plan, which you could learn about in this video here if you like. But enough about cheetahs. What about the second fastest? Do you even know what it is? How does it stack up against its competition? I, don't, I, I don't talk a lot either. on this channel about how overpowered the animals in the Africa server are. And while that's Wait, certainly what? true, the North America server also has its fair share of builds with ridiculously OP stats. S including one little-known build with the second fastest run speed in the entire game. You might expect it to be a type of big cat. I'm a little a close relative of- I don't- Why is it talking- I'm a bit confused he's talking about service. And it, is it, it a game? Well, it may be a game. Um, I don't really know. Or was it in a game for- like a format game? I don't know. Because it's like Mario Kart. But it's I don't real. Know. The real cheese are real. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I don't know. Right, I, I, I did a Google search. We searched here to- on google so this is real life but his videos are kind of like in a game format it's like okay. pretending real life is a game i thought potentially with stats that was, and stuff like that okay it? so it's it's real information just in a game way yeah i just thought for a second it I was actually it's in a like, fun way oh that one hundred percent. i might it's awesome and maybe if you guys want to check out more of the channel let us know in the comments i just got worried that it was just about a game we knew nothing about and it was like just mm. tips and i was like yeah. uh is this a reaction video <laughs> But this is like real life, but in a game. So we're learning and in a fun, in a fun way. way yeah. yeah, definitely. That's a good way to put it. Let us know if you want to check out more of these. A cheetah, like the mountain lion. Or perhaps a type of cervid, like a deer or elk. But no, it's actually the smallest member of the giraffe family. Oh, one wow. that most players probably Wait, wouldn't expect fast. to be related to I the giant know. that we know and love. The American pronghorn. <laughs> he poked his head up. The pronghorn may not look like much, but it sports some pretty impressive stats, including the second highest base mobility stat of any terrestrial animal. Oh wow! With only the cheetah having a higher top speed. Yeah, fair, fair. This that's, makes that's it faster fast. than wow. every other build in the North America server by a substantial margin. Pumas, bears, and even wolves have essentially zero shot at closing the distance to a pronghorn player. Pronghorns have much more endurance than most predators, and really are able to maintain like these high speeds for significant distances not just short sprints as most predators do. Pronghorns also have horns on their head which can deal decent damage in a pinch, yeah, ooh, although it's pretty rare they actually need to use work. them for anything other than dueling against each other. Still, these sharp, keratinized horns can definitely do some damage. Pronghorns aren't particularly stealthy because of their bright white back end. However, even with how noticeable they are, if you ever see a pronghorn, it's almost certain it sees you first. And they're just out of Their it. eyes are incredibly sensitive and oh, can wow. detect movement from four miles away. Because of their huge field of view, this makes it borderline impossible to sneak up on a pronghorn degrees. unless your build has some insanely high level stealth abilities. Pronghorns have one of the lowest HP stats of any North American ungulate. They of course share a server with builds like the elk, moose, and buffalo all with a massive health bar, making them near impossible to bring down solo. Conversely, pronghorns rely entirely on their speed stat to keep them safe, and can't really afford to take any damage at all. For the most part, the pronghorns' general game plan works great. Because they have the ruminant ability, their food is abundant, as they're able to digest grass, shrubs, and even cacti if necessary. Wow. They also are able to consume plants that are toxic to builds like sheep, cattle, and horses. Oh wow. Meaning they don't anything. usually compete yeah. for resources with livestock, 
and so as long as they don't get careless, pronghorns are usually able to evade most conflict. So why is the pronghorn so uniquely fast? Its immense speed stat legitimately feels like overkill. And I would argue that in the current meta. I tell you what, I, I was waiting until we got the end of this animal because I've got a few things to say this. I've never heard of a pronghorn. No, I've never heard of it. So this is literally a secret. Oh, this is secret top tier. I, if, this video might be the whole whole video. I might think be the whole thing is about pronghorn. A pronghorn. I'm guessing because we're three minutes in. I read it as in, um, eight. secret animals, but it's animal. Okay, so we're learning about the pronghorn. So it's good job I didn't wait to the end to be the animal because it's been the Why end of the video. Why did I think it was eight, video, eight animals? Yeah, I don't I think know. you said animals. I just call it, I'm in my head. I, I, I did eight. say animals, 100%. <laughs> um, but for me, like on, at the moment, on screen graphics is Rocket League. Yeah, it's cool. I, I don't know if you've ever played Rocket League or seen it. But I, I know that. No, but it just looks cool. It looks cool. Um, but there's always games that have been Minecraft in there. I, I keep spotting them. And I'm like, oh, that's that game in there. Like, oh, that's that game. This is quite a cool concept. Mm -hmm. Even stamina balls and stuff like that. I like this channel. It's cool. This is a channel I said check out on my own. But yeah. I'm going to save them for reactions if you guys want to see them. So let us know in my comments. Yeah, cool. uh, it absolutely is. However, the pronghorn has been one of North America's top survivalists for a long time. Through several balance patches and expansions. And during the Gunder Dryas expansion, there were additional, speedier threats that the Pronghorn player base had to contend with, namely the American Lion and American Cheetah. These Felid builds were extremely dangerous to a lightweight, evasive style no, build like the Pronghorn. The American Cheetah, in particular, had a max speed stat roughly equivalent to its African and Asian counterparts, quite a long neck, hasn't but was also it? bigger and bulkier than the modern that looks Cheetah. That like a nice and little, um... Like a nice little pussycat, but just massive. Just... <laughs> Don't you think? So yeah, during that mean. particular ranked season, the Pronghorn wisely opted to max out its speed and endurance in order to evade attacks from these American felids. However, these felids were banned with the launch of the Holocene balance patch, leaving the Pronghorn hugely overtuned for its remaining competition. Still, this didn't mean automatic success for the Pronghorn. In fact, their player count was dwindling up until very recently. The reason for this is that Pronghorns are extremely poor vertical jumpers, and so they're heavily impeded by any sort of barrier. They require open terrain with good visibility in order to remain competitively viable. Yeah, as soon as so the when human players started constructing barriers made of sharp metal, things got really dangerous really yeah. fast for the pronghorn. Most of the herbivore builds in the North American meta can easily clear the vertical of an average barbed yeah, wire fence, yeah. but pronghorn players no, usually opt to oh, crawl under this. barriers if possible. They can't well, because of the pronghorn's low HP stat, even relatively mild oh. chip damage from barbed wire fences can deal lethal damage to a pronghorn. This issue was really frustrating oh. to deal with as a pronghorn main, and so most of them just opted to play characters with better vertical mobility. But eventually, the human player base realized how unfair this tech was and opted to self-impose a ban on the tech in important areas. As a result, the Pronghorn player race has recovered massively and is no longer at risk of collapsing. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. So, I don't Again, know. we talk about player base, we're on about just the amount of them, aren't we? But like, you know what? The world's listened. I say the world somewhere in America because it's America's secret. And we're going, you know what? These Pronghorns are getting hurt because it weren't nice to see them in just, were they? No. Um, let's get rid of the fences. Obviously, yeah. not everybody's got rid of them, but in certain areas, we've got rid of them. No, I guess certain areas where they babies. don't need to be, they're not. It's not. It's not danger. So. Yeah, if it's not a danger, and they're making babies, and now they're growing again, mm. and they're not. That, I like that. I like, I like that. that. That's good. So the pong horns are on me up. Oh, no. This is such a cool concept, by the way. I really like this concept. Oh, if I can quite give them an S tier rank, since they're highly vulnerable to disruption if any sort of major balance patch imposes a lot of barriers into their territory. In addition to the obvious things like human structures, like roads and fences. <laughs> Any increase in woodland biomes would also severely hamper their ability to detect predators or run for long distances to escape. This is the main reason why pronghorns, despite still being faster than any of their potential competition, have failed to make an impact in biomes with less open spaces, that makes sense. such as the woodland tundra biome of the backcountry of Canada or the jungles of Central America, where stealth-based builds like the puma and jaguar have more of an advantage. Now, to be fair, having an unfavorable <laughs> matchup versus a jaguar isn't saying much. They are the undisputed top-tier predator throughout the entirety of the Central and South American jungle biome. But it would be impressive to see them diversify their playstyle a bit to see if they could be more competitive in less open terrain, yeah, we'll as their the other group. giraffoid ancestors used to be. Especially oh, wow. since the pronghorn's other main weakness is made worse by the fact that they spend time in completely open spaces. Hmm. That weakness being their vulnerability to aerial attacks. With no tree cover, pronghorns have nowhere to hide from the one predator that actually is able to keep up with them, the Golden Eagle. Oh. They may be the second fastest land build in the game, 
but if you include flying builds, most birds beat this speed pretty easily, oh, especially wow. yeah. predatory birds. birds. Are rapid. Still, it's hard not to respect a build that managed to adapt so effectively that its strategy hard countered the game plan of their main opponents, driving them to complete and total irrelevancy. Then again, is it really that big a flex <laughs> that a variant of the cheetah build ended up not being viable in the current meta? I wouldn't be that surprised if, given enough time, the African antelope mains also started specking into higher speed or greater bulk in order to invalidate the African cheetah's only favorable matchup. Anyways, with all that being said, I'm going to give the pronghorn the rank of A tier. Okay, not bad. This video is brought to you by my next video on rhinos, already up on... Awesome, I mean, check the channel out, the link is in the description. Yeah. Uh, pretty cool concept, and I imagine this is a video that takes a lot of editing. Yeah, definitely, it seems it. So, shout out to them, awesome channel, it seems like. Uh, we learned about a pronghorn. If they can just e evolve to jump, yeah. they could be good gameplays, but they... They could grow a lot. They could. There could be a lot of them. They could be very safe, but they need to learn how to jump. They do. That's the issue. Smash that one, guys. Smash the subscribe. And watch your video. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.